Okay, let's give this another try. <laughs> I think that my mic was not plugged in all the way. So I wasn't getting any audio. So I'm, I've got like two minutes, maybe three or four, to uh, get a quick video done before I have to head home. Plus it is getting dark. It doesn't look too bad in the car right now, but it is getting dark outside. And it's Monday, so I need to call my dad. I don't want him to worry wondering why I haven't called. So, um, let me just go over a couple of things, get my notebook out. Um, the first thing is I kind of sort of, I'm really having technical issues. I'm knocking my camera around now. Um, sorry, sorry, it's Monday. Um, okay, so I kind of sort of finished mini me. She's so cute. She's way cuter than me. I'll say that for sure. Check her out. <laughs> Look, she's even getting gray hair. <laughs> so I'd kind of sort of look like this if I wore hot pink overalls. Barefoot. <laughs> and had a like, completely floppy head. So I have gotten some tips from some of the Amigurumi uh, fans in the live chat that we had at Yarn Hookers the other night. Told me some good ideas to how to make her head not quite so floppy. But I think the major problem that I have is I used way too much yarn for her hair. I mean, she's got a lot of hair. And that makes her little head so heavy. So I think that might be part of the problem. We'll see. We'll see. I am starting a new Amigurumi. Uh, this one is definitely going to be for a gift. Probably. <laughs> That's the goal. Um, and this one's going to be a mermaid. So I'm following a tutorial, a video tutorial to make a little mermaid. So um, hopefully that one comes out with a better neck. Sorry, I'm checking the parking lot because I'm in a different spot. I'm across the street from work in this little church parking lot. So making sure nobody's around thinking I'm a lunatic. Um, what else am I working on? I'm still working on this. I've got to get this finished because this is for a Christmas gift for someone I adore. So I'm still working on that. So that's project number two. Really, um, really working hard on getting Christmas gifts made. Getting close down to the wire here and um, I need to get my Christmas gifts done. Wrapping up my cords. <laughs> oh, what else is going on? Oh, I wanted to know if you guys had any suggestions for Amigurumi channels. Um, if you do, leave them in the comments below because I'd love to see some um, and you guys know it's out there, you know? You guys are out there looking at channels all the time and I don't have a lot of time to do it so I'm gonna ask you to do me that huge favor and if you have any uh, good channels that you'd recommend please let me know because I never really looked into Amigurumi's before and now it appears that I'm hooked yep I said it I said hooked bad pun I know I know <laughs> couldn't help it though Okay, so I'm not working on the Hexi today. Um, I didn't have time to work on anything today on my lunch break because I was very busy making a video that you can't hear. I can't hear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Murphy's Law, right? Or as we say in my house, that's 2020, baby. <laughs> we just blame everything on 2020 now. Oh my goodness. It's been such a year, hasn't it? December 7th though, we're getting closer, getting closer. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, what else? Uh, Kinemaster, um, gonna do a video this week for a Kinemaster tutorial. It's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be about adding text and some animations to your videos. I know a lot of people are really interested in that. Um, that's the fun stuff, right? love the fun stuff but I had to get the basic stuff out of the way you know we had to get we had to get um, how to put the videos actually on Kinemaster and add in our transitions 
and adding some music. So those are the basics, but now we're gonna get into the fun stuff. So hopefully if you're interested in KineMaster and learning how to make your own videos, that will come in handy. Um, I'm thinking that once we get through a lot of the KineMaster stuff, I'm gonna go on to just general um, video stuff. You know, like how to hold your camera, different gadgets that are cheap that you can use to um, attach your camera to different things. Uh, whole, let's see, um, tutorials. You know, how I do my lighting, how I do my, um, how I hold my camera in place, that sort of stuff. So yeah, let me know uh, if there's something specific you'd like to see from the video production series and I'll do my best to make that happen. I, I think that's about it. I've really got to get going. I've got to call my dad and uh, get home and make tacos for dinner because I promised my son that's his favorite. And I've got to edit this and I've got to make a mermaid and I've got to finish a shawl and I've got to make a KineMaster video. Whew. I'm tired and I haven't even started. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. I'm gonna probably have to use some pretty pictures from the past at the end of this video. I'm gonna have to go into my stock footage <laughs> of stuff that I've filmed before because it's almost nighttime here. I know it looks brighter on this screen than it really is. It's really getting dark, like the street lights are on and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Might have to do with some old pretty pictures. But that's okay. Old pretty pictures are just as good, right? <laughs> okay, you guys, I love you. Take care. I hope that this sound is working <laughs> for this video. I think I just didn't have it plugged in all the way into the port. I've done that before. So, all right, take care, guys. Bye.